Nas Reed. Reed, coast to coast. Oh, 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 earthquake. The aura of MJ, the skills of LeBron, and the potential to be the GOAT. <laughs> Today, we will help Nas reach his full potential and make him the GOAT. Now, boys, in order to make this man the GOAT, this is the list of things we have to complete with Nas Reed to complete the video. So, guys, everyone knows Nas Reed's full potential is a 99 overall. So, that is exactly what we made him. You guys can see it right there. 99 overall. He is a demigod according to 2K. So, he has officially reached his full potential. Now, guys, to restore balance in the NBA, we're going to have to give out a 99 overall to somebody in the East. Boys, I decided to give the other 99 to Bobby Portis. This right here is Nas Reed's number one op. They had a fight during one of the games, I believe last year was. So I decided to give it to him. He is going to be our arch nemesis. He's going to be the one trying to stop us from accomplishing everything with Nas Reed. So that right there is enemy number one. Now listen, boys, we are going to have three full seasons to complete that list that I showed you at the beginning of the video while Bobby Portis and the Bucks try to stop us from completing it. If we fail to complete it, I'm going to have to go out there and buy a Bobby Portis jersey. And I'm telling you right now, that is the last thing I want to spend 150 on. Here we go. Season one. Fingers crossed we can win a championship this year. And fingers crossed that Nas wins MVP. All right, boys. I'm just going to fly through the regular season. I'll catch you guys at the end of season one. Fingers crossed we're in the playoffs and hopefully we're the one seed. All right, boys, we are at the All-Star break in season one. We are 40 and 15. That is honestly a great record. We're number one in the Western Conference. I want to check out the award races. What are we looking like on MVP? Oh, my goodness. Okay, you know what, bro? For right now, we're looking like we're first. Nas Reed is cooking, bro. 35, 15, and 10 with three steals and three blocks a game. This dude has reached his full potential. I'm not going to lie. This is the Nas Reed that we all know. This is the Nas Reed that is going to be the GOAT. This dude is putting up insane numbers, but Luka is trailing barely behind him. I'm really hoping Luka doesn't steal this MVP because we need it. There's also the deep part race, which is pretty important. Nas Reed is number one. I feel like he got this secured already. I mean, three steals and three blocks a game is insane. I don't think I've ever seen that in 2K. Boys, end of season one. I really thought Luka was going to take it from us. Nas Reed's numbers did go down a little bit, but this dude was hooping. 33, 15, and 10 alongside three steals and three blocks a game. And his shooting splits were insane. I mean, this dude is a 99 overall. But I'm just glad Bobby Portis or Luca didn't touch this award and we won it. We get to check out the first thing on the list. Honestly, that was very important. I feel like that's going to be one of the harder ones. So check that off. Boys, we got MVP down. Now we need Depoy. Let's take a look at the rest of the awards. Okay, Wemby Rookie of the Year. That's obvious. Bobby Portis, Sixth Man of the Year. This dude is putting up insane numbers. Oh my goodness, bro. We created a demigod. And I'm not going to lie. He looks dripped out with those shades on. I don't know what that is, but hey, man. Here we go. Depoy is ours as well. Thank you, bro. I thought we were going to get snubbed. Potentially, maybe Wemby could have took it from us, but I'm glad we got this award secured. This one right here was going to be one of the tough ones to win. I did not expect three steals and three blocks a game from Nas Reed, but this dude is a demigod. That's all I can say. So, boys, taking a look at the list. Not only do we have MVP checked off, we could also check off the Depoy. So, we're going to go ahead and check that off. That is two things off the list. Those are the regular season rewards all out the window. Now, we just need to focus on the playoffs. We need to clutch up. We need to win a championship. And we need to make sure he's the best player in the series. Boys, by the way, take a look at the All-NBA teams. Nas Reed made the first All-NBA team. Obviously, he was the MVP. Bobby Portis, off the bench, made the All-NBA second team. That is low-key, maybe just as impressive or even more impressive. Boys, this is the playoff bracket for the first year. The Bucks have the Pistons. I have no idea how the Pistons made the playoffs, but they did. And we have the Sacramento Kings. Honestly, bro, we have kind of a tough road to the final, but we need to find a way to get there and win. Before we jump into the playoffs, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 90k. We're trying to hit it soon. Let's get to the playoffs. Let's win this chip. Right, boys, we got past the first round with pretty much no trouble at all. We are in round two. This is where I'm getting a little bit nervous. This is the team I'm dreading to play against. The Denver Nuggets, the former champs. They got Jokic. But hey, man, we got Nas Reed. Boys, I thought this series was going to be a lot closer than it actually turned out to be. We actually won every single game that we played against this team. We swept them. Yes, 4 nothing. Now, you guys are going to see the scores of the games. Every single game was actually quite close at the end of the day. It was within like 10 points every single game. So I'm a little bit nervous that we, you know, kind of kept them close every game. But I'm happy that we clutched out every single game and swept the Nuggets because we pretty much have an easy path to the finals now. All right, boys, take a look at the bracket of year one. First of all, the Bucks are looking really, really good on the Eastern Conference side of things. Obviously, they dropped two games to Detroit somehow. But apart from that, they have not lost a game. So here we go, man. We need to lock in. We're playing the Clippers. I mean, they got Kawhi and, you know, PG. But we got Nas Reed, baby. Now, boys, out of the first three games in this series, we ended up only winning one of them. We were down to one. Heading into game four, we needed a huge game from Nas Reed. We could not afford to go down 3-1. And then this happened. Drive it and throw it down! Big fella! Over to Reed! Oh, take that with you! 
Zone, Reed, a set shot, splash down from three. Yes, boys, Nas Reed's game four helped us tie the series up. This man single-handedly won us the game. I mean, he did absolutely everything. One of the best performances I've ever seen in 2K history. So shout out to that man right there. 44 points and 22 boards is just insane. Now guys, the series was all tied up at that point, two apiece. The next two games would actually split evenly. So it was tied 3-3 and we would have to go in to a decisive game seven. Oh boys luckily game seven went our way as you guys can see right now we are up by 19 the game's not officially over yet but it is pretty much over and done with Nas Reed by the way has 45 points Anthony Edwards has 30 points these two combined for 75 points this might be the greatest duo of all time and boys just like that in one of the hardest fought series we had to play so far in seven games we win and we are going to take our talents to the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history. Look at Nas Reed, 48 points on the night, and he clutched it out to send us to the final. I mean, boys, look at this performance in game seven, bro. 48 for Nas Reed with 16 and 11 to go alongside that and eight stocks. That is probably one of the greatest game seven performances of all time. Boys, of course, man, it just had to be. Who else could it be, man? The Milwaukee Bucks against our minnesota timberwolves we have to win this series they're still running bobby portis off the bench i don't know for what reason maybe they don't want to play small ball but listen man whatever suits them we just need to take them down and win this chip you guys can see bobby portis on the left that is the number one up i do not want to have his jersey in my possession boys we are up 3-0 against the bucks we took three games from them in a row that should pretty much do it for this first championship ring hopefully unless we you know have an all-time choke but take a look at Nas Reed, bro. 44, 13, and 14 in game three. Take a look at game one. He also hooped. He had 26, 20, and 11 with six blocks. This dude had a bad shooting night, but made up for it as well defensively. And then, of course, this game right here, 24, 18, and 16. He's literally everywhere, and we're on the verge of the first championship. Now, boys, we're going to take care of the Bucks in four games. Bobby Portis, our number one op, is going to go down, and we get a check off. One of the two championships that we need for this video already in year one. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect it to be this easy. We might have to make it harder for us next year, but I'm just ready to lift this, you know, lift this chip up. Boys, we are officially NBA champions. Look at Nas Reed, bro. The star of the NBA, the future GOAT has started his first championship in the first one in Timberwolves history. They got Doc Rivers. I mean, it was just never in their destiny to win. And boys, who else? Look at the smile on his face. Lift that trophy up. Let's get it, man. That's number one right there. We get to check off one of the championships. We still need another one. So stay tuned. You know, we could choke, but you know what? This team is just too good. Nas Reed is just too good. And fingers crossed he won finals MVP. He should have because he was putting up some monster stats. And boys, of course, bruh. Finals MVP. Shake Adam Silver's hand. Nas Reed is the finals MVP. We get to check that off the list as well. Three of the things accomplished already in the first season. It's time for your number two, bro. I'm not going to lie. Right now, we're cooking Bobby Portis. Look at the stats for this finals MVP, bro. That's just, I don't even know what to say. That's just different. Right, boys, your number two. Here we go. We got the same ambitions. We need another championship boys the second season luca actually wins mvp that's what i was scared about year one i'm just glad we got that out of the way and we already got our mvp i was read though with another deep point his stats did go down a little bit he went from averaging 35 to 28 but it doesn't matter because we won a lot of games and we're just here for championships oh boys bobby portis actually upgraded this season he made the all nba first team alongside nas reed and I'm not going to lie, Bobby Portis went from a bench player to a starter and his stats absolutely skyrocketed 30, 14, and 10. You know what, bro? This year is going to be a lot different. Boys, this is the player bracket for year number two. Let's see how it goes. Listen, man, I'm not worried about anything but the finals against the Bucks. All right, boys, here we go. We're just going to run through this series, bro. Honestly, I'm going to press simulate round. I expect a sweep. We should be able to sweep the Houston Rockets and they get one game. It doesn't matter. We're out the first round. Boys, round two, we got the Pelicans. I'm honestly expecting another sweep. I'm not expecting them to win a single game. Can we make the conference finals with ease? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What happened? <laughs> Boys, now it's going to leave everything down to the last season. We need a championship in the last season or we're absolutely cooked. All right, boys, I honestly have no words for what just happened. Somehow we got eliminated in the second round. I'm honestly a little bit disgusted, but you guys can see the main reason. Nas Reed wasn't scoring as much. 15 points in this game. Then one of the games, he would have like 34. So that's probably the problem. We're going to sort it out because I'm telling you right now, bro, if I have to buy a Bobby Porter's jersey, this day is going to be terrible. To make things even worse, our number one ops, the Milwaukee Bucks and Bobby Portis win the championship this year. We literally blew it. 
We didn't even have a chance to come up against, you know, the new Bobby Portis, the new and improved Bobby Portis. So I'm just excited for the third year. I'm a little bit nervous. Now it's a must win situation. Boys, third and final year. Here we go, man. I'm very nervous. We need to win this chip. As in the third and final season, Bobby Portis wins MVP. Nas Reed wins his third deep play in a row. Both guys made the All NBA first team, which was kind of obvious. All right, guys, both of the teams are one seeds. We have to win a championship this year, or I'm having to buy a Bobby Portis jersey, which I will not be keeping. I will probably give it away to one of you guys. Let's just hope we can win this championship and, you know, just stop the suffering. All right, boys, first round matchup, we got the Golden State Warriors. Honestly, outside of Steph Curry, this team is looking absolutely horrendous. The Warriors have fallen off. We should be able to take care of business. And guys, just as expected, we take them down in five games and we're on to round two. Right, boys, round two, we got the San Antonio Spurs. This is an interesting matchup. They have Wembanyama. They have Evan Mobley as well. Oh my goodness, bro. Their bigs are insane. You know what, man? They might have Wemby, but we got Nas Reed. Right, boys, here we go. I'm actually truly nervous about this series. Game one goes to us. Thank you. Game two, we need it. We got it. Come on, finish the series. Just finish it right here. Ah, and we leave them hanging. Come on, bro. All right, boys, game four. If we could go up through one, the series is over and done with. We do. We should be able to get out of this. There we go. Thank you. We are in the Western Conference Finals. No more premature exits in the playoffs. This is where it gets real. Boys, our number one enemies are taking on the Hornets, so it should be a free ride to the finals for them. And we are taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder with Shea and Chet Holgram. All right, boys, here we go. I truly cannot look. Eyes are closed. Simulate first game. Okay, we actually took the first one. We actually took the first one. 39 from Edwards. Nas Reed with only 17. You know what? Hopefully he bounces back next game, but we won the game and that's all that matters. Boys, here we go. Game two. We need to make the finals, bro. The first step is to make the finals. They tie the series up. I'm going right through it. Come on. Game three. Oh my God. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, we tied up. Whew. This is game five. Whoever wins this takes a 3-2 series lead and it looks like we're going to go ahead and win this game by a good amount as well. We needed that take the lead going back to minnesota up 3-2 in this series Nas Reed with a triple double baby he's not scoring at a high clip but we'll take the win right, boys the bucks by the way have swept the charlotte hornets they're already waiting for us in the final we need to get to the finals here we go i'm simulating thank you we make it to the finals Nas Reed, western conference finals mvp versus bobby portis bobby portis is putting up way better numbers i'm honestly scared boys i have valid reasons to be scared this series right here determines whether i have to buy a bobby portis jersey or not and luckily for me the first two games were pretty even we split them 1-1 apiece we're tied 1-1 in the series honestly i would rather have the lead but i'm glad we're not down to nothing all right boys the series is tied 1-1 man i'm nervous i'm honestly scared to even look at the next two games here we go Boys, the next two games of the series were a lot of the same. Very evenly matched up teams. And we split the next two games as well, which means the series is officially tied at two apiece. This is terrible, bro. This is actually terrible. The Bucks take game five. Bobby Portis with 43, 15, and seven. This dude had a glow up. I don't know what happened. This dude is playing out of his mind. Nas Reed, I mean, it's a solid game, but it's not good enough. Boys, game six was a must win. If we lost this game, we would end up losing this series and losing the finals. And I would have to end up buying a Portis jersey. And luckily for us, we came through in the clutch and we ended up winning the game. I actually checked the minutes as the coach and I realized that we were giving some bums on our team minutes and I fixed it out. I fixed it. We got the win. That's all that matters. We're back to playing good. I mean, Edwards had 39 that game and Nas Reed had 38. That's all you need. I honestly just want to leave it like this, bro. 3-3. This is perfectly balanced, perfectly even. But we can't do that. We got to get into the last game. Here we go. Boys, it is game seven on the Milwaukee Bucks home floor. And take a look at the score. We're up by 15 with the minute 30 left. It is looking really, really good for us. I'm not going to lie. As soon as I changed the minutes, this team just started playing way better. I'm honestly dumb to not have checked that earlier on because that might have been the reason we lost in year two. And that's 100% on me. Boys, just like that, officially, we have won this series in seven. Way more stressful than it needed to be. I just needed to adjust the minutes. Thank you. 2k for saving me from having to buy a bobby portis jersey i honestly can't be thankful enough we win another championship and nas reed has become one of the greatest of all time boys number two bro number two for nas reed we'll take that right there we made him the goat well deserved go he's handing it off to the bench players all right you got to respect that man what a lovable guy i'm just glad we finished the list you guys can check it out right now on the screen we finished everything we needed to we saved ourselves from forfeit and i'm glad we did and you know what? If one finals MVP wasn't enough, there's the second one as well. Shout out to Nas Reed, man. We made him the greatest of all time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go down below right now. Smack that like button. Let me know if you want to see this again with a different player. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will catch you guys 
in the next video, man. Stay safe, stay blessed. I'll catch you then. Peace.